Well, right now we're in the middle of creating a new musical for Broadway, Frozen. I screened a rough cut of Frozen. I couldn't believe what I was looking at on the screen was a perfect Broadway musical. And then Bob Iger announced it, uh, <laughs> that, that we were going to do Frozen on Broadway. I remember standing there the day we began the first reading and looking at the actors and realizing this is exactly what Frozen was made for. The creative artist behind it, Jennifer Lee, the writer, and Kristen Lopez and Bobby Lopez, the composers and lyricists, are joined now by a whole group of us trying to make this a reality. We've got Rob Ashford, the choreographer, we've got Christopher Orham, who's done the sets and costumes, we've got Natasha Katz, the lighting designer, Stephen Aremus is our musical supervisor and arranger. What Michael brings to the table, of course, is this extraordinary legacy. He's such a visionary and he sees the sophistication of this and he also sees the fun. All these people who bring their own element to the piece all in service of the original story. The narrative arc is so strong that we can also really go quite deep. Particularly with Elsa, we can get inside her head, we can be with her on this journey. Anna goes out into the landscape to find her, and in her journey, she finds how to love. It really is a female take on this idea of sacrifice and loyalty. For us, what drove us, what inspired us, was the deeper emotions, was the more adult themes that were in it. To get deeper into these characters and their hearts and what they're feeling, they've added these songs. There's something like seven songs in the movie. We needed something more along those 21. It's like tripling the number of songs. Rob just brought it to life. There's a new theatrical language that he brought to choreography. There's the way that all starts to come together. That moment when you hear the orchestra strike up and the curtain rises and the cast appears and the stage comes alive. It's just like that energy. I can't wait to feel that for the first time.